CARV stock is the most discussed stock in messages on retail social media platform stock tweets. Nearly 94.45% reflect positive sentiment towards bank, the bank's shares. This is according to Thomas Reuters. This statement comes as no surprise with knowledge that the stock's short interest is currently coming in at, at record high levels. Uh, specifically, short interest on Cav, Cava Bank Corp stock is now at 272.372,367 shares, all, an all-time high. Uh, this accounts for nearly 30% of the stock's total available float, putting the capitalization of, the, of these uh, bearish battles short squeeze in play. This short squeeze potential has attracted a flurry of retail traders who peru who pers who peruse Reddit forums looking for heavily shorted stocks, and all of that volume has sent CARV to a more than decade peak of thirty eight point eight seven dollars. So, Cover Bank Cup hasn't come this close to around $40 mark since January 2011. This incredible regrowth has emerged on the heels of fresh support of the 180-day moving average, a trend line that, that was uh, resistance in June 2020. This has since be, this, that has since pivoted to serve as a stable floor in 2021. Now the equity boasts an impressive 246% year-over-year gain and it is 322, 325% above its August 20 bottom of $5.15. So as a contrarian, uh, this is uh, what the author is saying. A shoe trader might uh, look at this breakout and start to prepare for the next leg lower. A precipitous drop back to reality in the manner most beam stocks fall. This is certainly possible as the stock's 14-day relative strength index is firmly in overbought territory at 75 yet as shown in the chart you know in the chart above which uh, yes um in the lower pane the banking giants rsi roared into night into the 90s in early june in other words context is important when assessing the viability and strength of a potential carv pullback perhaps since R the, since the rsi has recently clocked in at in at uh, much sharper levels the stocks pullback won't be as calamitous and uh, long equity exposure can be protected via puts or other option strategies that involves uh, hedging okay so all in all there are two things involved in this piece we just read you know one of them is that uh, for sure there's likely to be a pullback for cover stock and and then the other one is that before that time there might be the prospect of yet the of yet uh, more extension is there you know so there are two things you know it will extend it will also pull back so for the session of the 16th of july it closed at 17.45 dollars a retracement of 7.65 percent about 927 000 shares across the table which was below average and it has a market float it has a shares outstanding of uh, 3.46 million uh, shares and I think it is it is even though it is look it's looking like it's correcting I think it's still very much very much rallying okay so you can see it even though it has it has overcorrected it appears to be in a strong bullish trend it's 200 day moving average upward sloping the MACD here so comes above zero and rising it is easily outperforming the S&P 500 momentum for CRV as measured by 14 periods loose and classical scalator is waning. This means that investors are less aggressive in the recent purchases and may even be taking profits from post, from, from, from positions about our lower prices. The volume, the unbalanced volume indicator is bullish. The slope of that indicator is positive and suggests that buyers are presently more active than sellers. Buyers are still presently more active than sellers, but the momentum is not as it was before. And a lot of market participants have been taking money off the stock for some sessions now. I would say since since the 12th of July, as a matter of fact, it has been retracing. It was only for the 15th of July that it extended and then pulled back. So I think technically, um, if if you are really keen on joining this possible possible uh, short squeeze that uh, is likely to occur based on the sentiments, based on the data available out there, there's a good chance it will occur. 
you know, technically, you know, just just basically chance. Doesn't mean that it will occur. You know, I think if it's gonna call from any any from any position right now at this close of seventeen point four five dollars, which is not far from where the ten day moving average is. The ten day moving average is at what? As a matter of fact, it is actually lower than it is actually trading slightly lower than the 10 day moving average the 10 day moving average is at 17.55 so technically if you want to get involved with this stock because of the possible short squeeze up yes it looks it doesn't look that bad it doesn't look that bad you know it has been correcting you know um with that sort of that sort of correction pull it has pulled you know we you can easily say yeah you know you, you, there's a good chance i mean um how do i put it now um, um it is it can it can you can justify a position you can justify a re-entry into the stock because of that uh, uh pullback but all in all it still depends on you you, you still have to convince yourself you still have to um convince yourself that it is cheap enough or not cheap enough or whether this correction or pullback is enough or not you know so you have to decide that you know so what is likely to happen you know is that uh you know there's going to be a short squeeze and at the same time as well there will be yet another pullback as we're seeing now so it has retraced from this high of uh, over 26 dollars to 17.4 17.45 which is easily more than 10 percent you know even easily more than 20 percent you know so um you decide whether you're going to get involved in it or not you know um like like mm -hmm. like the author of that piece indicated there are many ways you can hedge your position if you um if you want to get involved if you have gotten and gotten involved you know uh, at the same time as well it can always pull back it can always retrace further there's no guarantee that that uh, short squeeze will happen and uh, if it if it if it pulls back there's even it also it will further re-emphasize the likelihood of all of that all of that uh, short squeeze reoccurring again but also we we are currently facing a sell-off in the broader market right now this is also what you have to take into account and the the flight is the flight away from um there's a flight away from a lot of stocks at the moment and i think some of them are going towards uh, some of the blue chip uh uh, stocks on on Nasdaq, you know some of the blue chip uh, growth uh, stocks. You know, I, I may not be right about that, but all in all, it is you know there's a sell off going on right now. The S and P fell from forty three nine nine zero forty four thousand three hundred ninety down to four thousand three hundred and thirty as as, as at uh, the last time I we, we checked. You know, so all in all, there's a major sell sell off going on right now, right now, and uh, the last time. Or rather, the um, the data here is that as of Ju like July sixteenth, forty eight point two three percent of the entire float was sold short. Before that time, in the previous session, was fifty four point one two were sold short. So, but we don't exactly know whether all of these positions have been covered or not. So, even though that piece says uh, the short uh, percent of float is ten point seven seven percent, so we have uh, they are indicating a that piece is indicating an a a short uh, interest of or short percent of uh, thirty percent, but short volume of thirty percent. So it is probably more in line with uh, this sort of figures when you aggregate what is what has happened all over for some time now, whatever whenever they happened, but um, they have been able to aggregate it as uh, thirty percent. They have they may be using all the means to determine all of those volumes, but um, uh, there's what is certain is that. You know, um, cover stock, cover bank stock, stock is uh, yes, probably one of the heavily uh, shorted stocks. And as at the same time as well, what is also interesting here is that it will take 18.4 days to cover. 18.4 days. That's a long time. So that's also something else you have to also take into account. So all in all, I will easily say the stock is a buy. If it retraces, if you buy, you know, you can always uh, see you. Uh, just be patient and see what's going to happen. You know, I'm, 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 um, I'm taking the risk to say that it is a buy. You know, because there's every good chance it will retrace even further. There's no guarantee it will uh, continue to extend. The sell-off in the broader market might uh, continue to uh, to uh, um, affect the stock, and more and more short sellers, as they have been doing, will also may also continue to do so. But um, 
um, um, I'm going off uh, of the hill of my of uh, I'm going off for a, or one or whatever what, how, do, how do I put it now I'm I'm taking the risk to say it's it's a buy you know and um, yes there's a good chance yes it will that that squeeze will occur so but just be really careful just be really careful it's not a penny stock just be really careful and don't put sums you can't afford to lose and it's only small amounts of uh, Reasonably, uh, relatively small amount of money, so that um, if you retrace this, you will still be able to uh, take advantage of uh, that. Because with further retracements, the much more likely it will it is that it will uh, extend again. You know, so um, be careful out there. Know what you're doing with your with just with your funds. And uh, but in any case, you still have to take the risk anyway. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video.